Hi, it's Emma from The Launch Queen and I want to talk to you about your business alter ego today. So what on earth is that? What is that all about? What am I talking about? I am talking about them times when you're stuck. Them times that you feel that you just don't know which way to go. You're not sure on the way forward. You're not sure on how to solve the circumstances that you're currently in, whatever those circumstances may be, then what I normally say to people and I say to my clients quite a lot is, if I was telling you this um, set of circumstances, if I was giving uh, this information to you and looking for your help and advice, what would you be telling me? What would you be telling me to do? What would be the steps you would tell me to put in place? How would you advise me to deal with it what would you be saying to me and usually they have the answer they know what they would say to somebody else if they were in those circumstances they know how they would tell somebody else to deal with it they know exactly what steps they would be telling them to take what they would be telling them to do how they would be telling them to deal with it and they can usually get quite passionate about the uh, things that they would be telling me to do and the steps that they'd be telling me to take and um, often it would involve things like getting over myself and stop worrying and stop procrastinating and just get on and do it and sometimes it's the things that you don't want to necessarily hear it's the things that you don't necessarily want to do it might be that it's about getting outside of your comfort zone it might be that it's about you stepping up and really shouting about what you've got to offer it might be that it's you know you just really putting your business out there in a big way and it can be scary and often we need the reassurance of other people but sometimes we don't have that luxury we don't have the luxury of other people there to help us we don't have the luxury of um, time to make some of the decisions that we need to make so what I say to um, my clients is I say to them have your business alter ego and write down the circumstances that you need to solve write down the problem that you're currently stuck with write it all down and then read it as if a friend or um, a peer or a client was giving you those set of circumstances what advice would you be giving them how would you be telling them to deal with it take the emotion out because when it's our own problem that's obviously charged with emotion there's obviously much more for us to deal with and it's our own fear often that is the barrier to getting through it so take away the emotion by having it down in black and white and look at the advice that you would give somebody in those circumstances look at the things that you would be saying to them and perhaps you know once you've written them down grab a different colored pen and start putting little notes to yourself of the things that you would be saying if that was a problem that was put to you by somebody else because you can so often get a great insight into what you should be doing if you're really stuck and you need to take immediate action by visiting your business alter ego so you can have your little own superhero that can help you in your business you can have your little business alter ego that allows you to to take the charge away you know the emotion is the the charge in the circumstances that keeps you stuck so once you take that away and you look at it from a logical perspective you look at it from the advice that you would give somebody else then very often you can find your own answer in there and it can stop you feeling stuck and it can take away the pressure and it can it can help you find the path that you need to take so your business alter ego is a good thing it's a fab thing and it's something that you can use to help you make decisions in your business. Some people say, you know, you need to look at yourself as um, the owner of a business. You need to look at yourself as a, a CEO. What would a CEO do in those circumstances? How would the director of a big company deal with this particular predicament? What would they be doing? And if they wouldn't be dealing with it and they'd be outsourcing it, then there's an answer for you. If they would be dealing it with it in a certain fashion then look at whether or not you could be dealing with it in that fashion so your business alter ego can get you unstuck so i hope you have an awesome day and i'll speak to you again soon bye for now